Hi everyone, it's Colleen. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so excited to be celebrating Colorado dry beans with all of you all year long. So many delicious and nutritious recipes coming out of something that is grown right in our backyard. Colorado beans, they are so tasty and they're beautiful, bright, vibrant colors. I bet you didn't know that Colorado grows so many different types of beans. I'm talking about black beans, light red kidney beans, garbanzo beans, pinto beans. Yes, and the more you get to know me, the more you're gonna realize that I just love cooking local, I love supporting local. Things just taste better, right, when they're grown? couple miles away from your house. So to celebrate National Bean Day, I am making my pinto bean pineapple muffins. So you're looking at me saying, Colleen, pinto beans and pineapple, is that a combination that even works together? Trust me on it, it works and they taste so good. And it packs these muffins in with a lot of protein and fiber for those little kids' tummies to keep them full and happy all day long. So let's start with my beans. Here are my beautiful pinto beans that have been soaking overnight. I actually filled this only halfway and then the beans did the rest. They soaked up all that water. My kids love to do this with me. We fill it up. We fill it up with water, right? And we wake up in the morning and the kids say, oh my gosh, the beans grew. So fun activity to do with the kids before you start making these muffins. How do I cook my beans? Really the old fashioned way. I soak them overnight in water and then I simmer them um, in the pot for a few hours. Uh, so that's what I did. And I took a cup of those cooked beans and I blended them in the blender with some water, super simple. So now we are kind of starting with a pinto bean paste. That's gonna be the base of these muffins. Into that, I am adding in just some crushed pineapple, really simple, super sweet, but also super delicious. Uh, of course, some butter, what's a muffin? A baked good, what's that? Some good old fashioned butter to go in there. For the sweetness in here, I'm adding in maple syrup. The pineapple is already pretty sweet as it is. You don't need a whole lot of this, but some pure maple syrup, really gonna go a long way in these very muffins. Of course, just some vanilla extract, and then some eggs to bind everything together. Super simple, and there we go. Those are all the wet ingredients for this muffin, stirring it up right over here. So I usually have a pound of dry beans a week that I cook up for the, for the family, right? And I do something different every week. Some week it's garbanzo, some week it's red beans, other week it's pinto beans. And what I do is after I simmer them, um, I kind of use them as we go along for the week. Sometimes I'll sneak them in the kids' smoothies. Uh, pinto beans sometimes are so mild, garbanzo beans too, that you can throw a little handful in there, the kids will never know. Uh, then I like to add them to breakfast tacos, I like to add them to curries. Uh, beans have such a great flavor, uh, but sometimes they also have that mild flavor that you need just to put them into something and to enhance the flavor of any dish too. So that's why we always have that pound of beans a week. Um, the dry beans, truly I love them because you can control the sodium and also texture, texture, texture. Trust me on this one. Uh, they hold the texture so well um, and it gives it just a punch of flavor to any dish. Okay, my dry ingredients, super simple. I have some flour here. I have some cinnamon, some baking soda, and some salt. Uh, really trying to use as little dishes as possible here in the kitchen because all you parents know out there, once you get those kids lunch bento boxes in the dishwasher, <laughs> along with all the water bottles after sports practice. I just try to use as little as possible to keep things to a minimum. All right, that's it. Combining this, I like to add in some chocolate chips sometimes, maybe some raisins, some pecans, toasted coconut. Gosh, the add-ins to this muffin are really endless because when you have the fiber and the protein from the pinto beans along with the texture of the crushed pineapple in there, anything really goes well with the flavors and textures happening over here. My son loves to use this as a recharge. Uh, they are so good for you that I let him have a couple after hockey practice, um, you know, on the way to swim practice. Uh, my daughter loves to have them for breakfast. So this is something that we keep a dozen in the freezer at all times so I can just pop them out and give it to the kids. And here they are, super beautiful. Um, sometimes as a treat, I like to top it with a little frosting. You could even put a little chocolate spread on top. Possibilities are endless, and that's why we love beans, right? Cool beans, that is gonna be the theme of my kitchen all year long. So I hope you'll join me. We're gonna have so much fun together and kind of discover so many new recipes when it comes to Colorado dry beans. I'm gonna share this recipe with you at coloradodrybeans.org, and don't forget to follow along with us on social media.